good morning students in this session let us learn new concept called sum of nth terms in previous class we learned about how to find the nth term that means particularly if we want any particular term to be found so we used a formula called a n equals a plus n minus 1 into d so using that formula we used to find the nth term but now here we are finding the sum of nth terms clear so let me start so observe sum of first n terms of an ap today's our topic is sum of first n terms of an ap so if we consider an ap if we consider an ap a1 a2 a3 a4 so on up to an as you all know a1 is the first term a2 is second term a3 is third term so on an is nth term or you can consider it as last term so here to find the sum for example if they ask to find sum of first term that is s1 here we are representing in letter called s so s1 is nothing but it is a sum of only the first term s1 is nothing but a1 we will consider a1 here first term itself a s1 clear so if we consider s2 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 means sum of two terms that means a1 plus a2 if we continue like the same way or s3 if we consider s3 so s3 what it happens a plus a1 plus a2 plus a3 clear so observe s1 means a1 just we'll consider the first term s1 is nothing but sum of first term clear so it is just a1 s2 if we consider s2 a1 plus a2 means we have to take two terms sum if we add a1 and a2 first term and second term we'll get s2 in the same way if we consider s3 a1 plus a2 plus a3 clear so in the same way if we consider s10 here i have took another example s10 so a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4 so on up to a10 we have to add clear so it is a very lengthy process clear or if i want to 100 so i have to take s1 plus s2 plus s3 plus s3 so up to s100 so it is very difficult so it is very difficult instead of general if we consider one example observe if we consider one example that is 1 comma 3 comma 5 comma 7 if i want a sum of first term s1 we'll consider only the one yes to 1 plus 3 first term and second term 1 plus 3 we got 4 again yes 3 1 plus 3 plus 5 1 plus 3 plus 5 so i got 9 but if i want the same sequence yes 100 so yes 100 means from like this i can't add the length it becomes lengthy and time taking so to solve these type of problems to solve these type of problems we use sum of nth term formula clear so if they give the sequence of numbers or an ap so if it is a lesser number like sum of two, one term two term three term up to 10 term okay but if it is like 100 1000 90 or 500 it is too lengthy so at this case we are using nth term formula sum of nth term formula so let me know the formula now so this is the formula so sum of nth term of an ap is given by sn equals n by 2 2a plus n minus 1 into d what is what is the formula of a n a plus n minus 1 into d but here sn means sum of nth term here sn means sum of nth term so n by 2 first you have to take half of 2 f half of n 2a plus n minus 1 into d 2a 2 times of first term plus n minus 1 into d and i think these two are same in nth term formula also a plus n minus 1 into d instead of a plus you have to take 2a 2a plus n minus 1 into d along with that you have to take n by 2 means half of n so this is the formula for finding the sum of nth term and remember and this formula we are using when first term and last common difference is given clear if it is like sequence 
1, 3, 5, 7 so on. So, we do not know the last term. But using that sequence, we can identify the first term and common difference. So, when they give first term and common difference, we are using this formula, which is that formula Sn equals n by 2, 2a plus n minus 1 into d. As you all know, Sn is sum of terms of AP, that is n term, a is first term, d is common difference, n is number of terms. And this formula can also be expressed in two ways. This formula can also be expressed in two ways. Observe how we can express. So, I took this formula that is Sn equals the same I copied here. Sn equals n by 2, 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Sn as it is, n by 2 as it is. 2a can be written as a plus a. As you all know, a plus a, it is 2a. a plus a plus a, 3a like that. So, here 2a can be written as a plus a. So, observe this only this much. So, observe this one a plus n minus 1 into d. a plus n minus 1 into d can be written as a n as our nth formula. A nth, a n formula. So, in the place of this, if we substitute a n, so formula becomes s n equals n by 2 a plus a n. For example, if they ask like this write the formula of sum of nth term when first term and common difference is given you have to write this in the same way write the formula for sum of nth term of an ap when first term and last term given you have to write this one clear so there is a difference between these two when first term and common difference is given so you select this formula when first term and last term is given select this formula for example let me take one example if it is like this 1 comma 3 comma 7 so on we don't here we don't know the last term but we know first term and if we subtract these two we will get d so at that time use this one but in the same case if they give like this 1 comma 3 comma 7 comma so on 50 so last is 50 so this is a n they gave a n at that time you take first term and the last term just you substituting in this formula you will get yes n or instead of a n you can write it as l l is nothing but last term so we have finally we have expressing this formula in three ways number one it is this one this is the same thing is here s n equals n by 2 2 a plus n minus 1 into d s n equals n by 2 a plus a n s n equals n by 2 a plus l so these are the three formula which we are using to find the sum of nth term of an ap clear so, let me clarify more or let me make you understand more using a simple example. Just understand this. So, here there is an example. Find the sum of first 10 terms of an AP 2, 4, 6, 8 so on. Clear. So, find the sum of the first 10 terms of an AP. Here they have 2, 4, 6 so on. So, observe here. Here there is no last term. Here there is no last term only that they gave sequence. So, using this sequence find A. So, what is A? First term is 2. What is common difference? As you all know common difference is nothing but a difference between two consecutive terms. Consecutive means next, next. You should not go for first and third. Only first and second or second and third or third and fourth. Consecutive, consecutive terms. You will get D value. So, here 4 minus 2 you got D value 2. So, what is n? They are asking to find the first 10 terms of an AP. Find the sum of first 10. So, n equals 10. So, as I told you here, they gave first term and common difference. So, you have to use this formula that is Sn equals n by 2, 2a plus n minus 1 into d. So, let me substitute. Let us take the formula same. So, as you know, 10 by 2. So, 10 here n is nothing but 10 or you can substitute here also instead of s n you can write it as yes 10 only or you, you remain it as n only. So, here 10 by 2, 10 by 2, 2 into 2 here a value is 2 plus 10 minus 1 n value is 10 minus 1 into 2. Next 10 by 2 is nothing but 5, 2 ones are 2 fives are, 2 twos are 4, 10 minus 1 is 9, 9 into 2. In next step Remain, 5 remains as it is. Here 9 2 is 18. 18 plus 4 22. So, 22. 22 5 is 110. 
110. So, you got Sn equals 110. So, just using this formula, you got 110. But, but if we just you check, just let us add like that only. So, here if I consider 10 terms, so look here, 2 plus 4 plus 6. So, look here, 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8. So, 2 to increasing here, common difference. So, 10 plus 12 plus 14 plus 16 plus 18 plus 20. If we take 10 terms here, 1, you can observe here, how many terms are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, if we add all together, we are getting 110. That means 2 plus 4, 6, 6 plus 6, 12, 12 plus 8, 20, 20 plus 10, 30, 30 plus 12, 42, 42 plus 14, 42 plus 14, 56, 56 plus 16, 56 plus 16, you will get 72, 72 plus 18, 90, 90 plus 20, 110. But this is very lengthy. If they give like 100, you can't add this till 100. We can't take till 100 terms. So, instead of this making simple, we are using the formula Sn equals n by 2, 2a plus n minus 1 into d. And we are using this formula when first term and common difference is given. If they give directly the last term, you can use the Sn equals n by 2, a plus a n or a plus l. Clear? So, this is about the introduction of sum of first n terms of an AP.